Good morning, guys. I had a couple questions on ratios. People ask me all the time still, hey, are you using uh, four buckets of sand um, to one 47 pound you know, bag of Portland, you know, a four to one ratio? Um, technically, that's not a four to one ratio when you're talking about volume. A 47 pound bag of, of Portland basically gets you know, within two to three inches of a top of a bucket. Now, I had a bad bag of Portland here. It got, it got wet, um, so I just used it. It's gonna be the same amount of volume. It's just chunky on top. Um, so for, you know, safety's sake, you know, this is about two and a half inches. We'll just go two inches, you know, just because. So we're at about two inches to the top of the bucket. Now to match that, for a one to one ratio, you're gonna have to have at least two inches left on the top of this bucket to match. So if we're doing four buckets to one, or a four to one ratio like it's supposed to be, you need to have four buckets of sand within two inches of the top. Not full, but two inches from the top. Each one of a, each, each one of, uh, a five gallon bucket is approximately 15 inches to the top. So what you're looking at, you're looking at eight inches because there's four buckets, you're looking at three and a half buckets of sand to one bag of Portland. That's gonna get you technically a four to one concrete ratio or a four to one mix is what they talk about when they talk about concrete. We don't use buckets. A lot of guys will you know, wanna use buckets because they're gonna get an exact measurement and that's fantastic. It takes so much time. Um, you're, you're gonna have a little bit, you, you might have one mix that might be a little bit bigger, one mix a little bit smaller and so on and so forth. Um, just because of the amount of sand you put in a bucket. Some, some buckets aren't going to be filled all the way to the top, some will be less. So they're not always going to be the same anyway. When we use shovels, one shovel might be a little less, one shovel might be a little bit more, but it's going to be very close. We use 18 shovels of sand to one 47 pound bag of Portland. We're going to get 15 to 16 feet per mix. Now if you guys are doing uh, four huge buckets of sand, to that amount of Portland, you're probably getting a good 18 to 20 feet, and some guys aren't gonna wanna give that extra footage up. But those guys, depending on what sand they use, those guys might have a little bit tougher time troweling and finishing, have a hard time getting it smooth. Uh, because of the lack of Portland in there too, you're having a hard time, or maybe having a hard time stamping because you're getting a little bit of tearing. You can't get a really deep impression because there's just not enough Portland to the amount of sand in there. So if you're having trouble with any of that, what I suggest you do is just mess with your ratio a little bit. Instead of using four buckets, go to, go to three and a half buckets with the amount of Portland you have and see if your mixes come out any better. Is it easier to trowel? Is it easier to stamp? Do you get a smoother finish? Um, I know you're gonna give up a couple feet, but would you rather have a better product and have it easier to, to work with? And you know, in the long run, you know, your, your stuff's gonna look better. It's gonna be stronger because you have a little bit higher Portland content. Um, it's just something to look at. We use 18 shovels, but it's a particular shovel. It's an eight, eight inch by an 11 inch square shovel. So if you have a bigger shovel and you're using 18, obviously your ratio is gonna be different. We've tested this and shoveled, you know, you get about four and a half shovels per bucket, um, so it, it technically comes about 18 with this shovel. So what I tell you guys to do is just mess around with that a little bit. If your mixes come out better, if it's easier to work with, then stick with it. If you like the old way, that's fantastic. But a four to one ratio, when people talk about ratios, this is what a four to one ratio is because it doesn't go all the way to the top of that bucket.